there, this is Hannah from OSHA Slings and today I'm going to show you how you can make sure to get the right width on one of our OSHA carriers. So I'm wearing the Baron today but this is the same um, method and um, the same ethos for any of our carriers and in fact any other carrier that you have. So um, what I've popped the baby, I've popped the baby in and um, at the moment I've decided to just show you an example of um, the width of the carrier being too narrow. So what will happen here is that baby's legs will drop down and you'll have a kind of swinging at the bottom here so they'll be very straight. And on this side as well what you'll notice is that their knee here is much lower than their bottom. So that's not um, supporting the ergonomic M position. So what we want to do is we want to do a pelvic tilt. So we're tilting the pelvis round and we're bringing the knees up above the bottom. So I'm going to take um, my finger and my thumb just in underneath their knee pit, bring their knees up and tuck their bottom down. So bring the knees up and tuck the bottom down. And that way they will be in the supported M position. And now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the fabric of the carrier is neatly in their knee pit now that they're in that new position. So that will most likely mean that you need to just bring the fabric around the waistband a little bit wider so that it goes into the knee pit here and here. Now, if you um, have a carrier that has a cinch, you might need to undo the cinch to be able to do that. With the Baron, because it's got a slider cinch on the waistband, you can just bring it out and in with your fingers. So that's how to make sure that if it's too narrow, you can widen it. Now, what you're looking for is that your baby's legs so it can swing freely. So they can swing freely back and forth. Um, now, if your carrier is too wide, so it's overextending their legs, it will be something like this and they will be, their leg will be able to just be here. What you're looking for is for them, that fabric to be in the knee pit so they can easily swing back and forth like so. So then you would just bring the fabric back along and adjust so that everything is into the knee pit. And then you would make sure that the other side is the same. So that's how to make sure that your carrier is the right width. Um, we have some other helpful tips and tricks on our YouTube playlist and we have a blog on our website as well. Um, so we hope that will help you get the right um, fit out of your carrier. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.